<laughs> Geometry. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> Measuring and constructing angles. Alright. <laughs> section 1 dash 3, measuring and constructing angles. Alright? What we're learning in this section is pretty much just about angles, okay? They're one of the basic things in geometry. Example, exhibit this right here. That's an angle, okay? Alright, now, an angle is made up by two rays who meet at a vertex. That point right there, it's called a vertex. Alright? Now, in an angle, some of the basic things you need to know. Inside the angle, it's called the interior. Alright? And outside. Interior. <laughs> outside, everything outside of it, all that, it's called the. There's stuff outside. <laughs> What's it called? Exterior. It's called the exterior. Very good. Alright, like I said before, the point where they meet is called the. Dun -dun. Vertex. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, good deal. Next thing you know about angles is called measure. Most of y'all have heard the word measure before. It's talking about how big or small something is. Right here, how far it's open is called the. In a world, <laughs> things are big and small. Measure comes into play. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's the measure, all right? Now, we measure angles in degrees, okay? A degree, most of the time you think of that with temperature, well, guess what, it's by this. Like, if it was 45 degrees, that's the degree symbol, okay? That's how open or wide these things are. Now, all the way around would be how many degrees? Makes a circle, circles 360. 360. Wait, what? 360 is all the way around. So, pretty much... Every degree is one out of that 360, okay? So if we had an angle that went all the way around, it would be 360. But different types of angles, there's acute, which means that it is less than 90 degrees. Well, if we already know this. Then you can stay quiet and it works. Start off. Yeah, just go to start off. All right, it's less than 90 degrees. They begin their lesson. We already started. <laughs> they continue their <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Alright. Acute is less than 90. Right. Right angles, you'll see these a lot and you'll do a lot of stuff with them. Right angle means it is exactly 90 degrees. Exactly. 90 degrees. There it is. Alright, now. We usually mark it by putting that little box there because, guess what? On the corner of a piece of paper, that's a 90 degree angle. Boxes, perfect squares, are all 90 degree angles. So we put a little square there for 90 degrees. Alright, and then obtuse is, take a wild guess, greater, stop it, please, greater than 90 degrees. Get myself an anchor. Alright? So you got a cute, right, and obtuse. Lovely. Now, a straight angle is the last one. You won't see it a lot called straight, usually just call it a line, but that's what it is. It is exactly all the way across, so therefore it's 180 degrees. Okay, so you got acute, which is less than 90, and the way a lot of people remember that is, it's a cute little angle. Okay, so think of a cute little puppy. Alright, it sounds not cool at all, but that's the way some people remember it. Okay, it's smaller. Right, I mean just the correct way, it's perfect. Okay, it's 90 degrees. Obtuse is bigger, and if it's a straight line, it's always 180 degrees. All oh, these angles, one solution. <laughs> Do the work. <laughs> no foot. All right, good deal. Now, last thing, we talked about the words congruent and bisect yesterday. Congruent means it's the exact same, which means it's equal. So if two angles are congruent, you can just set them equal to each other. All right, so congruent means equal. Bisector means that it cuts it in half. So if you have an angle, please stop. All right, if you have an angle, and let's say the angle is 60 degrees. All right, and then you have an angle bisector. If it bisects it, it cuts it in the middle, okay? Therefore, 60 will be cut in half. So it would be 30 and 30. Very good. All right. Heart-wrenching problems. 
Will they ever succeed in this math game? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Great. When you label angles, okay, this is how you do it. All right. Say we want to talk about this angle right here, A B C. Okay. We would just write angle A B C. The important thing when you label the angle, you put the little angle in front of it, put all three points that are involved. The important thing is the middle point. It has to be the vertex. It has to be where you know it changes directions. See where it changes directions at the B. That means it has to be in the middle. Okay, that pretty much labels how the angle is. Sorry. Examples. <laughs> how do you do them? <laughs> Alright, good deal. <laughs> Alright, pretty much if they just give it to you in words, you got to draw it out. They said L is in the interior of angle JKM. Alright, so first we draw <coughs> JKM. K has to be the vertex because it's in the middle. And we know L is an interior. That means it's somewhere inside this, okay? So we'll just draw L. <laughs> All right, now, they want us to find JKM. So JKM. So we're trying to find the whole thing. If the measure of JKL is 42 degrees, please don't say whatever he's telling you to say. Next one is LKM is 28 degrees. Now, obviously, if we're trying to find the whole thing, and they gave us another one part, and another part, you can put it together and find the whole thing. So all you do is you add it. 42 plus 28. Now it equals 70 degrees. So we know the whole thing is 70 degrees. And you do the same thing. Say they gave us the whole thing and a part, and we want to find the other part, we would just subtract it. Like if we knew the whole thing was 70, and we knew that part was 42, and we wanted to find this right here, we would just do 70 minus 42. And we would get 28 degrees. The end. Kicking the chopper! How do you do number seven? The end. <laughs>